We're working on it. He's proving troublesome. I want him finished, even if you have to blow up the whole state to do it. We're on it. Out. Get some men down there. I want him taken out now. Hey guys, and welcome back to more Siphon Filter 2. So, it looks like we're going for a train ride. You've escaped another missile attack from Archer by jumping onto a westbound United Pacific freight train. It will bring you to within five miles of the downed C-130. You must reach the engine and prepare to stop the train as it approaches the crash site. Archer is using his Blackhawk UH-60 to deploy an agency ret retrieval and elimination team. He will destroy the train rather than and let you get off the mountain alive. Eliminate any operatives that you get in that get in your way. Well, all righty then. Are you there? Leon, you okay? It's about time you checked in. Been better. My adrenaline shot is wearing off, but I've got enough strength to come and get you. All right. I'm almost on the crash site now. Once we have those data discs, we can bargain with the agency for your vaccine. I'm on the way. All right, we'll hold on just for a little bit longer there, Leanne. Uh, now, there's some stuff actually under there, which we're going to go grab. Uh, I can't remember what it is, to be honest with you. Let's go have a little fiddle, shall we? Uh, flak jacket. All right, well, I mean, potentially that could be useful, but we don't need it. So this is actually kind of a two-parter, this mission, uh, and it's quite short. So we're going to do these two levels as one video, I reckon. Right, what we're we working with over here. Morning, boys. Or should I say evening, as it is very evidently evening. I uh, had some issues with the simulator the last couple of days. Uh, I've been actually trying to get this game recorded, but it's not um, not cooperating. Seems to be okay at the moment, though. Um, it's The emulator's running extremely slow, uh, considering I've got a... Yeah, even there, we're dropping frames. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just even at that bit there, it's, it's running really slow for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I've got a 5800X3D. Um, should be more than enough for this. Anyway, they're my problems to overcome. Right, let's just waste these guys. Nice. And obviously the... Uh, the old 48 is asleep during this. I did wonder if it was trying to use integrated graphics or something, but there are no integrated graphics. I don't know. Weird. Strange. Never had any issues with this emulator before. Um, they just appear to have cropped their ugly ass head over the last two days. Which, incidentally, there was an update for this emulator thinking about that. Ah. More research is needed. Right. We're going to jump past as many of these guys as we can because to be honest we don't really need to fight them all all we have to do is get to the front of the train also I vividly remember as a kid I do remember this section so I must have played this game at some point uh, going through that tunnel there gave me serious amounts of anxiety um, <laughs> yeah getting in, getting scalped Although I don't actually think you can get scalped, but still. One wrong move. And we're getting more than a close haircut, let's just say that. Alright, so these are the best, huh? If these are the best old archers got to deploy, no wonder he's so eager to sacrifice all of his men. Never mind. Then saying that, doesn't really matter what your training level. Um, you know... A shot to the head is still going to kill you. What's this jackass doing? Just there with his mouth open. I'm catching flies. Jesus. I think we're doing Archer a favor, to be honest with you. All right. Keep going, Logan. How long is this train? It's actually not that long. Come on. All right. Hey, see what I mean? Just hit massive amounts of slowdown now. Never used to happen. Very strange. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure why we have these night vision goggles. Like, they're not actually a equipable item in this game. Um, I think... I'm trying to think. Were there 
night vision goggles in the first game. I know you had uh, the sniper rifle that had the night vision, but it wasn't actually... You couldn't turn it on or off either. It was just uh, context sensitive. And whenever you brought up the scope. No! no! <laughs> what about all the other guys throwing grenades at us? No! Idiot! Yeah, we're going to save the game. Yeah, even that cutscene was dropping frames. I don't know why. Because I played this game through a few months back um, before I lost <laughs> all my videos through... I guess I, I must have deleted them like a fucking idiot. And there was it, this game ran absolutely smooth. I don't know what's happened. But never mind. It's a little bit distracting, but it's not too bad. Blow it. But we still have agents on the train. They're expendable. I don't want Logan to get off this mountain, and we've got to get to that crash site now. Blow it! That's pretty rough. Killing all their own men. It's very scummy. Yeah, even that. It's just, yeah. It's running slowly. Bizarre. Uh, you can tell by the music. Uh, an oil tanker has been destroyed by an agency commando grenade. Splitting the train in two. You managed to jump clear of the explosion, but now you're facing worse news. Archer has blown out a rail bridge ten miles ahead the train's current position. You haven't got much time. You've got to reach the engine and stop the train before it reaches the gorge. Hopefully that's not Pumpkin Gorge. Mr. Dan Fortis, you maybe down there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... I don't know why that grenade took the train out when the other idiots were throwing grenades uh, to no avail. Alright, so now we have eight minutes to get to the front. Uh, that is bags of time, by the way. I guess these guys still haven't realized that they are beyond expendable at this point. Fighting to the last. Yeah, my god, this is just running slow. Ah, uh, it's, it's actually it is actually starting to put me off. Right, you know what? Yep, you could you lot can just die. It's fine. You're all dead men walking, or dead man standing, I suppose. Oh, oh, he just literally dropped a grenade on our ass cheeks. Not sure how that killed us, though. But, you know, we're not going to question it. Alright, let's try that again. What's more we're feeling, Gaben? Right, you're done. Oh, God, see that? That was like running. You could count the frames. So, hmm, I'm, I might have to try and look into this. Right. Keep going. Oof. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Fuck you guys. We got bigger fresh fish to fry. Now, what's going on up here? Ah, oh, it's a guy with a freaking grenade. I don't like you, friend. I don't know where that grenade's gone. Although, luckily. I'm not sure why we're jumping backwards either. Luckily. Uh, he missed. Those grenades are very deceptive, to be honest. They have um, kind of a weird hitbox to them. It's really large and obviously like a one-hit kill, but it's deceptive because sometimes it just doesn't seem to hit you at all. I don't know. It's odd. Very odd. But no matter. Yeah, here you can hear the sound effects just slowing right down. It's really bothering me. All right, what are we looking like? Not sure how some of these tunnels require the use of... Oh, God, night vision, and some don't. That's kind of strange as well. I like the fact these guys are like, let's get off this train, and they just run over here and kneel down. This guy, like, got a bulletproof head or something? 
Strange, are we firing blanks, Logan? Or is that too much of a personal question? Whoa, my god, yeah. Come on. I keep... You know, I'm going to save it. Because I've got a feeling that it feels like this emulator is going to crash at any second. All right. Let's go. Ooh. See somebody running. Well, that's okay. We're just going to jump over his head. That's how we do it. Make like Sonic and keep bouncing. There we go. All right, now, for some reason, I know there's a couple of guys here. Yeah. All right, well, we're just shooting him repeatedly in the dick. Now, where's the next? So you've got to be really careful here, because if you go too far, Logan will automatically jump, and this guy will just kill you. Ask me how I know that. Ugh, right. Refresh our armor. Lovely. Yeah, you get way more time than you actually need to do this, which is nice. Lots of breathing room. Whoa. Backup plan. Oof. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever <laughs> Yeah, what could possibly go wrong here, huh? Everybody's dead, Dave. And that is that. Luckily, we escaped. Because it uh, would have been a little bit awkward if we didn't. But that was, that was pretty chaotic. So the agency is definitely not shy about murdering literally everybody in their employ. I mean, I suppose that's one way of cost-cutting. Um, you know, helping the budget. But, uh, right, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Uh, when we come back, well, I think we're finally getting our way to the, making our way to the crash site. Crash site is an interesting mission. Has some very spicy moments, should we say. Um, definitely one of the harder missions. Uh, not the hardest. That one is a mission that I'm semi-dreading to do coming up actually but uh we'll talk about that a little bit later on anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time